guys, it is Saturday night. It is literally Saturday. I usually don't wait this long to film the Saturday night snack in a movie, but this week has been so crazy busy, and I am just getting around to it now. But tonight, we have an awesome movie in store. If you guys have never seen The Goonies, now is the time. Now, I like to keep these shows family-friendly, and The Goonies is a family movie, but I gotta warn you, there is some language in there, and, you know, some things that are not necessarily for kids. But, I mean, I saw it when I was 10 years old, you know, so it is what it is. I believe it came out in 1985. It's basically about this group of kids who call themselves the Goonies. They live in a little town called Astoria in Oregon, and their house is about to be foreclosed on by these just idiot guys who are foreclosing on all the houses, apparently. And so, kind of as like this one last hurrah, they take this chance, they go on this adventure to find One-Eyed Willie and the rich stuff. And it is just, it is absolutely awesome. If you've never seen it, you gotta see it, guys. I am a huge Goonies fan. It's one of those movies that I used to rent all the time on VHS when I was a little kid. This whole arm, which I will show you in a couple minutes here, is covered with Goonies tattoos. I mean, all the way up. <laughs> but first, I wanna show you this little gem from, I don't know, 15 years ago, maybe? I entered this contest online to make a commercial for Heinz Ketchup, and uh, mine was called Heinz for Every Adventure, and I did it in the style of the Goonies with my kids. So watch this, guys, and then we will be back, and we'll talk about what kind of snack we're going to have. guys to get our snack we gotta brave the waters here at the walmart all right guys we are heading straight for the ice cream aisle because if you've ever seen goonies you know that we are looking for rocky road oh my gosh guys this is all the ice cream this whole thing here now if it were easy and i didn't have to watch my carbs i could just grab Yes, this right here, Rocky Road by Briars. That looks so delicious, guys. Of course, if you're doing a truffle shuffle, you could get the chocolate truffle. <laughs> Holy crap, they have so many good kinds. Look at this, peach cobbler, brownie cheesecake. I would devour that. Butter pecan, regular chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh my God, chocolate peanut butter. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Actually, this is what I have to have right here. Carb Smart. Because <laughs> I have to make my own Rocky Road. So this is what I have to use. Look at this, guys. I'm such a cheapskate. This is the one I'd be buying right here. Rocky Road by Great Value for a buck ninety-seven. <laughs> but I have to pay four dollars for the Carb Smart to keep my carbs down. But we're gonna find some other stuff to put in here anyway. And then somehow we had to find something that is the equivalent of a baby Ruth. How in the heck am I supposed to do that? Okay, so the first thing we need is some chocolate to put in. And look at this, we got all this Lily's, which is low carb stuff. And look at this, chocolate salted caramel flavor baking chips. Holy crap, that's what I'm getting. Okay, I really shouldn't have marshmallows, but I'm gonna try to find some that I can just put a little bit in there. Holy crap, guys, look at this. Lucky Charms marshmallows. <laughs> now, these are obviously not the kind that are, like, dried, but they have those here. Look at this, a whole thing of them. Rainbow Mallow Bits. Oh, yum. How many carbs are in there? Four grams for two tablespoons. I don't know. Jumbo Rainbow Swirl Marshmallow. That's one giant marshmallow. Look at this, they also have cupcake-shaped marshmallows and bananas. I think I might have pointed these out before, actually. Banana-shaped marshmallows. I wonder if they taste like bananas. I bet those would be delicious. Holy crap. Llama and cactus-shaped marshmallows. What the heck? <laughs> 25 carbs, holy crap. See, here's marshmallow cream, but even that, the carb count is pretty high. 
Melt marshmallow cookie dough. What the heck? Oh my gosh. That's pretty high too. Four marshmallows, 22 carbs. Surprisingly, the ones with the lowest carbs are these right here. And that'll actually be perfect because I'll be able to mix these in better with the, uh, the ice cream. Now I gotta find some nuts. Peanuts, or I think I'd rather put almonds in. The cool thing about making your own is you can put in just whatever you want. And almonds are so expensive. I think peanuts are actually... No, I think that almonds are actually lower carbs than peanuts. No, I guess they're about the same. So in the sense of spending less and getting more, <laughs> we're getting regular peanuts. <laughs> And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have ice cream, I want root beer so that it's like a root beer float, but it's not. Guys, for the first time, oh, never mind, I didn't. <laughs> I was gonna say for the first time since I've had my yellow car, I lost it. But there it is. Hello, bee friend. Forgot to go look for some kind of a uh, low carb uh, protein bar or something that looked like a baby Ruth, but that's okay. That would just be more carbs that I don't need. So let's get home and we are gonna make our very own Rocky Road ice cream. Okay guys, this is simple. I put my ice cream in the fridge so that it would get kind of soft because I wanna be able to mix everything into it. This is Carb Smart ice cream, which is already a little soft. So we're gonna find out if that was a bad idea. But if you were using regular ice cream, yeah, I would recommend, woo, yeah, that's real soft. That'll work perfect. But I would recommend putting it in the fridge for a little bit to get it soft enough where you can mix everything in. Big old spoon. And now we make Chunks Ice Cream Bonanza. Little bit of ice cream, and I stress a little. <laughs> Baking chips, and of course you guys can use whatever you want. If I was doing this uh, and I wasn't trying to keep the carbs down, I'd be breaking up Hershey bars in here, man. Okay, good enough. Some peanuts. Okay. And we got our Jet Puffed Rainbow Mallow Bits. Those are just like what comes out of the cereal, like Lucky Charms and stuff like that. There we go. And now we mix. And it really is that easy and fun. Okay, look at this. We gotta stick this in a different bowl and put it in the fridge for a little bit, or I mean in the freezer, so that it will get hard. But that is going to be super good. I probably even put more stuff in there than I need, but I love ice cream to have lots and lots of yummy, delicious, chunky stuff in there. There's chocolate, marshmallows, peanuts in there. And I mean, if I was having it my way, there'd be Reese's Pieces in there and everything else. So while I get this ready to put in the freezer, you tell me what is your absolute favorite ice cream if you make this at home, what are you going to put in it? Put that in there for just a little bit. That is going to be absolutely delicious, guys. Yeah, tell me what kind of ice cream you love the best. And like I said, if you're going to make this at home, tell me all the delicious things you'd be putting in it. I'm going to go get the movie ready, and then we'll come back and we'll taste test that in just a little bit. All right, guys, while we're waiting for that ice cream to harden up in the freezer, let's talk about my tattoos. Okay, so the first one I got is up here on my shoulder. This is One-Eyed Willie. You can see the little gems in his eye. The next one is actually me right below it. If you look at the old Goonies poster, you'll see where they're all hanging off the stalactites and hanging off each other. And that's what this is based on. This is me and my kids, and we're hanging off each other just like in the Goonies poster. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, you might not understand this, but on my forearm, I have Sloth, complete with his Baby Ruth candy bar. 
and on the other side is the copper bones. There was actually supposed to be a lot more to this tattoo. There were supposed to be coins and gems and diamonds and rubies all over my arm, like, you know, in and out between everything else. And uh, I just kind of stopped getting the tattoos. And then my tattoo artist, um, his name is Scott. I grew up with him, went to school with him. And he actually moved away. And then he moved back, and I didn't have the time to get with him. And then now he lives down in Florida. So I've just never had the chance to finish it. And... Honestly, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> All right, it has been long enough. Let's get this stuff out of the freezer. Yes, that looks delicious, guys. Let me mix it up a little bit here. And let me just tell you, if you are not subscribed to my other channel, Nate the Bee and the Big RV, go over there and subscribe. It's my RV Adventures channel. I'm going to be moving into and living full-time and traveling full-time in my RV. And one of the places I'm going to be going is Astoria, Oregon, to see the actual filming locations of the Goonies, including the Goonies house and uh, Cannon Beach where with the big rock, haystack rock. It's going to be so awesome. I cannot wait. i got a friend who lives down there. All right. That's how it looks. <laughs> looks kind of chopped up. But we got our marshmallows, our peanuts, our chocolate chips. It looks so good. Let's just have a little taste here. Look at that. It is so chunky. Mmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is good. That is really, really good, guys. I am so glad I decided to make this tonight. I probably got more in there than I need. <laughs> But is it more than I want? Hmm. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Come back every Saturday for another episode. Pretty soon, I will be doing these from the RV. I'll see you guys later.